It's a remarkably small amount of uh, power input to keep this thing going. I call it the nodding donkey articulated stator. There's nothing driving it. See, that motor's disconnected. There's my Milo string right there. This, is, this whole thing is just nodding right along. It's slowing down a little bit. As you can see, we'll pump it up just a hair here. That stator is coming down just behind that stack of three magnets there and pushing it along. And uh, it's counterweighted as you can see. And it's also kind of a gravity assist drive. Man, oh man. Look at that sucker go. Let me just crank it up just a little bit. Eat your heart out, magnet motor fans. This arrangement almost works better than uh, just about any other as I've seen almost working. Here, watch this. Watch. Watch. You self start. Watch. We'll just get it into position. Just like that. Right there. Now I'm just going to take my hand away. See, so you get that kick, and that's something. Look at that. Here, we'll do that again. Get it to the right zone, right there. Look at that sucker go. And then it just takes just a minuscule amount of toining. Make that thing run. You can see how little I'm pushing it. I pushed it with my little finger. Oh, see there. That puppy almost runs, doesn't it? Now if it makes it around this time, we'll all be rich. Look at it go! My God! Woo! -hoo! Yes, sir! Come on now, one more time. Oh, I don't think so. Darn it. Almost, though, eh? Why well, just put another stator or two on there, another couple of groups of magnets, and that puppy would be the answer to save the world from the tyranny of big oil. I just think, I never thought it would work. Look at that, look at that.
There's that old repole traction happening right in there. You see that? That's repole traction. When the retract pulsion takes over from the repole traction, you, you know you got something going on. I'll just keep doing that for a while. All right, that's articulated stator overhead. Almost works.